Guys, this is local spice. In my language, we call this uyayak. This uyayak used to have a very nice aroma, so I'm going to cut it and add to the atama soup. Somebody's buying bolo. Somebody's buying bolo. Hi, good morning. It's a beautiful morning. Today there is no rain. No. I thank God that I went to the market and came back. There is no rain. It has been raining for the past few days. So I'm just coming back from the market before then. Thank you very much, guys, for stopping by on my channel. If today is your first day of stopping by on my channel, thank you so much. God bless you. If you are returning, oh my goodness, my love, my sweetheart, thank you very much for tuning in. So right now, I'm just coming back from the market, and I'm going to show you the things that I bought. So I want to prepare a tama soup. Mm? <coughs> Ata mai de me kunyen uran ngbesi ni nongke kpat uran ngbesi ntangona uran eri de uran 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 ata mai de me kunyen uran come and sing uran ata mai de me kunyen uran eri de uran 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 ata mai de me kunyen uran eri de uran 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 correct <laughs> like mother like daughter say hi to your friends. Hi, welcome back to my mom's channel. Yes. So, today, mm -hmm. today we are going to cook atama soup. Yes, so atama soup. Mm. She's calling it in a phonetic way. So, we are going to cook atama soup. So, let me turn the camera and show you the atama and the things that I have bought in the market. This is atama leaf. Atama leaf. Atama used to be a very sweet leaf if you prepare it in the in a very good way. So this is a yolk. We call it palm kennel. And um, in your language, I don't know what you call it. Drop your comments on the comment section and tell me what you call it in your language. In my own language, we call this a yolk. This a yolk, you can eat it just like this. That is fresh like this. Or you can as well put it on the fire and then roast it and eat it. I equally have my onions and mfi ikbo here. This is mfi ikbo or periwinkle. So I also have my... The first thing I need to do is to, for me to wash this AU, then put it on the fire and cook it. I'm going to cook it. After cooking, then I will pound it. Then, while the AU is going to be on the fire, I'm going to pound this atama. So I'm going to go ahead and boil it on the fire. So we are going to be pounding the atama.
the something up. Yes, the AOB is ready. Look at it after pounding. So the next thing is for me to sieve it. I have my sieve here. This is warm water. This water is warm. So it has to be a little bit warm such that you can add, such that you can put your hand into it. And the reason for using this is hot. Too. The reason for using this hot water or warm water is so that it will melt the oil because it's too hot I'm going to add a little more cold water I have to sieve it This is how I'm going to do until I finish it. This is the quantity that I need. I'm done saving it. This one is no more useful. So. We are going to keep this, once it's dried, we'll be using it to make fire. So I'm going to add, I'm going to add the atama into it. This is a local way of preparing atama soup. So I have to add this and then put it on the fire and start cooking. Guys, this is local spice. In my language, we call this uyayak. This uyayak used to have a very nice aroma, so I'm going to cut it and add to the atama soup. We normally use a small amount of it because the aroma, this one that I want to burn on the fire and put in, the aroma is going to take over the place for the next two weeks. <laughs> You can either wash it and put it in the soup just like that as it is fresh or you burn it in the fire. But this one I've chosen to put it like this. So I'm going to add it just the way it is. So this is it. Yes, I've added everything in the soup. So this is the last thing I'm going to add. I have to cover it. I'm going to cook this for three minutes and then put it down and serve. Wow! After three minutes, I have to check the soup. Look at the way it is. It's already thick. It's thick the way it is. So I'm going to put it down and serve. My soup is ready. I'm sure you love the video. If you did, don't forget to like, thumbs up, and also share. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye guys!